Okay, I've just gotten today my Dia & Co box. Um, Influencer waived the fee on this for me. They paid the $20. So I'm excited to break into this. Um, if you don't know Dia & Co, it's one of those styling services where you tell them your style and your sizes and they pick out outfits for you or pieces of clothing for you and ship them to you. Then you have seven days to determine if you like them or not and send back what you don't like and pay for what you decided to keep. So this is my first time using this. Like I said, Influencer paid the fee for me. I'm really excited to see what they sent me. Um, I got to pick out three of the items. I think there's supposed to be six in here, but this is kind of a small box. So we'll see what's all in here. I'm just gonna unbox this tonight and then maybe tomorrow I'll try them all on. The babies just went to bed. It's 8.30 at night. So I'm not trying these on tonight. Let's see what we got. Let me cut into this. I don't have to put anything on the inside. Right. Fox. We've got a card in here. It's all wrapped up in paper and it's got the Dia & Co logo sticker holding it all together. So we've got a fairly thick envelope actually. Oh, because it's got the uh, return shipping bag in there. So. For anything that I don't want to keep and I don't want to look at prices yet because I don't want to like form an opinion on, before I see the pieces uh, let's see what do we got what can I show you we've got introducing dia.com on demand show what you want when you want it now access thousands of styles with a click of a button select from select your faves from an assortment of perfect fitting pieces check out today and we'll deliver to your door prefer to have your stylist handpick five pieces just for you, we can still do that too. And want to be the best dressed and just a, like a little infographic on how to work their website. So there's that. Um, and it says perfectly fits and personal styling exclusively for sizes 14 to 32. It shipped really fast when it did ship. Um, it was delayed shipping and they, I reached out to them through Instagram and they got back with me right away and they told me the reason it was delayed shipping was they were waiting for inventory for one of my items. So we'll we'll look and see what I got. Um, but when it did ship, it took only three days to get here. So it was really quick. Um, there's prices, I don't wanna look at that yet. Um, okay, here is from my stylist. It says, hi Jessica, welcome to the Dia and Co family. We're thrilled to style you. Style your in influencer box and hope you love all of your new goodies. Thank you for taking the time to let me know a bit more about yourself. I see you utilized our Shop Now feature and included our Molly and Isadora boyfriend jeans. Style them with the on-trend kimono over the lilac, aka fancy purple tank. Wear with white Oxford lace-ups for a look that can take you from the classroom to a Mississippi, Mississippi evening out with friends. Keep it simple and casual with the asymmetric tee for last minute gatherings, rock of the dress. I cannot wait to hear all about your new items. I cannot wait to see all your fabulous pictures across your social media pages. Remember to tag at Dia and Co and use these hashtags, hashtag my Dia style, hashtag Dia find your fit, hashtag styled by Dia. Have so much fun, XO. Um, I'm sorry I'm gonna butcher this person's name. If you've ever had me as a teacher, you know I'm terrible with names. I'm gonna say that's Jalakia? Jalakia? I don't know. But thank you for styling me. Thank you. Sorry I'm terrible with your name. Alright, not looking at the prices. Let's rip into this. On the top, there's something in a lovely, what I would call a Pascagoula blue. Um, it's not a royal blue, not a navy. I don't know. And then there is a floral that looks like probably the kimono I picked out for myself. Let's see what this blue is first. This must be the fancy purple tee tank she referred to. And that's cute. That is a sleeveless top. I love sleeveless tops for work. This is actually something I would wear for work. It's got a cute little tassel tie right in the front. So I'm actually excited about this. It definitely looks like if you know me, I love my sleeveless nice blouses for work because I get very hot. All right, so I'm excited about that. Let's see, and then we've got 
a floral kimono. This was one of the items I picked out for myself because I've always wanted a kimono. I've never found one that I liked. Um, I guess I could actually throw this one on already. Excuse the stains on my t-shirt. I just went out to eat with my two children and my husband and that's a thing that happens. It's actually, let me see if I can show you guys. Kinda not as long as I would thought it would be. But that is not necessarily a bad thing. I just like longer things because I feel short-waisted. But we'll try that with a couple things. Because I love me a good floral and I'm liking that. So we'll wait and look at the prices on all these things. And then here is another top in that, what again, what I would call a Pascagoula blue if you went to Pascola High School and you know the uniforms you know what I'm talking about um, otherwise maybe it's like a flag blue I think they call it cobalt cobalt might be a good description um, and this is cute it's like a tunic I can hold it this way it's a tunicky top it's got some buttons down at the bottom looks like a three-quarter inch sleeve so I'm not sure I guess I could wear that with some nice pants to work I'm trying to avoid leggings. I've been wearing maternity clothes for two years, basically, and I don't think I can get away with the leggings anymore. So there's that. Um, it's a little on the thin side. I'd have to put it on to see if I actually, you guys can actually see through that there. Probably have to wear a cami with it. We'll see. But that's totally something I would wear. Like I said, with leggings, but I'm trying not to wear leggings to work, but I'd wear it in my off time. Now this dress I am in love with just by looking. I, this is one I picked out for myself. Um, I'm hoping, I can't remember how much it was. I put it in my cart, so maybe it's not too expensive or I put it in my box myself. But look, I love me a good floral. It's a little tropical. It's got some palm leaves on there, some lovely flowers. It's um, knee length on me. Let's see, I don't know if I can show you guys that. Yeah. It's knee length. It's really thick. It's got a nice lining to it. So this is not something I'd have to wear. I don't think I'd have to wear any fancy undergarments with. It is sleeveless. It's kind of like a, I don't know what this is, just like a fit and flare that dress, but I'm really excited about this, especially because we're planning on doing family photos and my boys have some adorable outfits that are like white with succulents on it. So this would look cute with them if it works. All right, and the last thing is the jeans I picked out for myself. Uh, they have a brand on here, Molly and Isadora. They are, I can't remember the, the fit of them. Girlfriend, they're called a girlfriend. I was looking for something comfy that I could maybe wear to school on jeans days after I pay for the jeans pass. Um, They've got some holes in them, so that might exclude that. I didn't think about that when I picked them out, but that's okay. They got a little bit of holes to them, a cute little cuff at the bottom. We'll see. I've had a hard time picking out jeans post baby body, um, but I was excited. I think, yes, these look like they're at least a mid-rise, if not a high-rise, which is what I wanted for my big mushy mom belly. So, have two babies, two years in a row. That's what you get. You get stretch marks and mush. So we will try these on. I'm really picky about jeans. Um, maybe I shouldn't have picked them out myself and instead let my stylist pick them out for me. Um, Cause I see now she only got to pick two items for me. Had I thought about this more, I'm not blaming them. This is more on me, but I wish I had not picked three items. So then that would have given her more items to pick for me. So if I don't like the things, it's more my fault than her fault. So we'll say that, but I'm excited to try everything on. It's probably gonna be tomorrow since it's bedtime now. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi again, real quick. It's not tomorrow. I just turned off my phone. So here we are. I wanted to go ahead and go over the prices with you um, cause I didn't want to wait on that. So the, let's see, asymmetric detailed tee in royal blue is what they called it, royal blue was $30. That was that kind of thin material, three quarter length sleeve. I'd call it a tunic with the buttons on it. So not necessarily what I would pay for in store for it, but I know the styling fee kind of tacks onto there. 
um, the service of having someone pick clothes for you. So that royal blue tee was 30. The split net tank was $42. The Everett pleated sleeveless dress was $53, which isn't terrible. The kimono is $59. It's actually more than the dress, which is surprising because the dress to me is probably the most expensive looking thing in the box. And then the jeans were $65, which I know jeans can be expensive. So we'll, we'll see. Apparently I have expensive taste because the three things I picked out for myself are the most expensive. Um, we'll see. We might end up just keeping the dress, maybe the blue top that I said I would wear to work. We'll see. We'll try them on tomorrow. So, bye, guys. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you order your style box on here. If you're interested, they take basic information, your body type, your height, what sizes you wear. My sizes were kind of iffy because I'm still trying to figure that out after having a baby. Um, two babies now. I did like this body proportion section. I've never seen that before. And when I'm trying to fit close to myself, that's something that is important to me. So I appreciated this section. Uh, stores you shop at. A lot of these are not in my area, so I'm just not familiar with them. So I couldn't select them whether or not I like them. Uh, patterns. There's not a family of patterns I hate. It really just depends on the specific pattern. So I didn't say no to any of those. Same with color. Um, there's no one particular color I avoid. It's more whatever shades and tones and how they pair with things. So I didn't say no to any of those my job. How did I hear about them? Um, I heard about them through Influencer. Uh, I actually was not originally picked for this campaign, but I reached out on Instagram and they added me to this campaign. So that was great. Um, the types of how you dress your body. I said casual on the weekends, business formal on the weekdays and date nights two or three times a month and that's really if we're lucky so that is with that I appreciated these questions as well because honestly I don't want a whole bunch of date clothes in a box if I rarely go out on a date uh, budget I definitely wanted as low as you can go on all these pieces I was actually surprised by the pipe the pieces the prices of the pieces I got in my box because I set them as low as you could go and seeing as how the next tier was 50 to 100 I just kind of assumed everything would be under $15 or $50 whereas uh, the blouses were but then the things I picked out were not so that's really that's actually my fault um, here I was just putting in some basic information about me I just recently had a baby. I'm trying to figure out the size of my body and the shapes that it's in. Um, that I'm a teacher, so I need clothes that work well in the classroom, but will also transition to out of the classroom because I'm not working every day, all day. Uh, just to give her an idea of what I'm interested in. I needed clothes that are comfy, but they look professional. You know, I might be wearing them on the weekends and after school as well, so I don't necessarily want to dress like old school tea tree, I guess is what I was trying to say. Uh, you know, if you are a teacher, there's a lot of bending over to help kids that you need to fix. Put a little information here, and they picked out my body type, raindrop, whatever that means. And that was that. So there you go, guys. Okay, so this is the first item I'm trying on. This is the Everett sleeveless printed dress. I love the pattern on of it. I love that it has pockets. It's got a good weight to it, the material. It's a thick polyester. It's lined with a white lining. Um, let's show you, there's two. There's like an underskirt kind of deal. I love the pattern. My only issue with this dress is the top up here on me is pretty baggy and loose. I don't know if you guys can see. Like there's a lot of room for some boob that I don't have there. And I guess I could take it to a tailor and have that taken in. But this is already a pricey dress for me. 
$59. That's not terrible for a dress, but it's a bit much for me. My husband looked at me in it and he's not a fan of it. He doesn't like the pattern. So this one is iffy for me. Um, let's try it on the other one. This is a maybe right now for keepsies. Maybe. All right. Okay. First separates outfit. This top I thought I was going to be in love with. It's a nice color. It's a sleeveless blousey top. It's got these cute little danglies. But just, I feel like there's not enough shape to it. You see? I don't know. I feel kind of potato sacky in it. I wish it was just nipped in a smidge, which I know is a tailoring thing, but I found tops like this that have just a smidge taking in so it gives some shape to you. You're not just wearing a big bag. Um, the tassels, while cute, I don't necessarily think that I would wear them tied up. Let's see how this looks. I don't know. That's, uh, that's okay. I don't know. It's like, just like the dress, it's almost perfect. Although the more I look at it on camera, the more I'm like, hmm, maybe. So, this is a maybe. This, and I was a little confused by her letter. Give me one sec and I'll grab. Okay, I was a little confused by her letter because she says in here, um, the lilac, AKA fancy purple tank. The one to me, this is not lilac. This is closer to cobalt and blue. And I wouldn't call it a fancy tank either. To me, it's a sleeveless camisole. So I don't know if there was something that didn't make it in the box or is this is it and it's just not described properly for me. So there's that. Um, and this blouse is, doo -doo -doo -doo. this is the Ava sleeveless sheared split neck tank. Okay, so it is a tank. I don't know what makes it sheared. Nothing looks sheared to me, but whatever. This is a $42 top. And as cute as it is, I'm a little hung up on the price because I feel like I could find something like this somewhere else for like half the price. Um, so there's that. The jeans. Oh, I think this whole box, guys, is a maybe for me. I actually like really, really like the jeans. They are... $75 jeans though. They've got a cute little cuff at the end there. I don't know if you guys can see that. They got a couple little holes in them. They're called a girlfriend fit. So like boyfriend jeans, but not quite. They're a little more fitted. I like how high the waist is. Like I said, I've got mom belly, post baby, stretch marks and mush. And I feel like that does a pretty good job of holding all that in. It's a little baggy back here for me under the butt. I don't have much butt as it is. So I like to accentuate what I've got. And there's a lot of material I feel like hanging out back here. So for $75, again, I'm like, mm, I like them a whole bunch. I, I don't want to say love, but I really, really like them. But for $75, I feel like I can find something perfect or I can find something just like these for cheaper. So again, I'm on the fence on everything so far. Let me show you the other top and then let me show you the kimono. So, hold on just a sec. Okay, here's the other top that she picked out for me, my stylist. It's a tunic length, asymmetrical, three-quarter length sleeve in a cobalt blue, I believe. Actually, she called it royal blue. Yesterday, I was calling it a Pascagoula blue. So, royal blue. I like the button detail here. My husband also pointed out the detail he liked it um pretty and I do like the fit it's a little snug you can kind of see right here my little bit of a muffin top from these jeans um but other than that I'm not not liking it the one thing again that I'm getting hung up on with this stuff oh yeah see mom belly mm, it feels a little bit thicker material or a little bit looser fitting that would be a problem but um, you can, through DNCO, send things back to get a different size, and they don't charge you for shipping of that or anything else. Um, so, if this was something I wanted to keep and try a little bit larger size in, that would not be an issue. But what I'm hung up on this, this Michelle Asymmetric Detailed Tee, is $30. 
which cute, love the color, love the detail, but I swear I've seen this top all over the internet, on, on Amazon, on Groupon.com, other little boutique websites, Facebook selling groups, stuff like that. I feel like this is not a unique top. And for $30, that just seems like a bit much. Plus it's so sheer. I don't know if you guys can see. Huh. Maybe you can't see my bra. Oh well, yeah, you see that? Yesterday um, when I unboxed it and I held it up, I could see through it. You could see my face in the camera through the shirt. So I'm a little concerned about that, especially being a teacher. I don't want kids seeing my undergarment through my blouse. So I feel like $30 is a bit much for such a thin material. I'd worry about it peeling in the dryer. Um, I feel like I could find this shirt for half the price somewhere else. So I like it. I don't know if I'm going to get it because the price. Same with a lot of the things in this box. I really like them. It's either the price or the fit throwing it off. Of course, fit isn't really a big deal. Like I said, Dia will let you go size up or size down. But like with that dress, it's just the top that's off. So that wouldn't necessarily be a size change as much as a tailoring thing. And the other top, I'd, I'd want to be taken in a little bit. So I don't know if I'd want to size down in that one and then it'd be too snug. So that's just me being ticky about my body and how I dress it. But in this day and age, like, I need all the help I can get. And I like what I like and I don't like what I don't like. So um, let me put the other blouse back on and put the cami over that, or excuse me, the kimono over that so you can see it because it doesn't really work with the sleeve length on this one. So give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, last piece here is this kimono, this floral navy kimono, which honestly is my favorite piece. It's so pretty. It's actually double layer. Nope, never mind. It is not double layer, but it seems very well made. Um, it's probably my favorite piece, like I said, of all of them. It's got this nice little like triangular cut to it. I think it's a half circle, semicircle cut is probably what gives it its shape. Yes. And three quarter length sleeve. I really like the pattern on it. I really like the color of it. The colors. Like I said, this is my favorite piece. Again though, my hang up is the price. This is a $60 kimono. It is after the jeans, the most expensive thing in the box. And again, kimonos are so popular right now, they're on trend. I feel like they're everywhere. All little boutique shops, Amazon, all little boutique websites, Groupon, or not Groupon, probably on Groupon, uh, groupdeals.com, um, just everywhere. And I feel like, again, I can find one comparable for less than $60. Like even if it was half price, I feel like 30 I feel like I can find this for $15, honestly. Now, it'd probably be made in China, maybe not the best quality, but, I mean, $60 is a lot for one piece of the item. And again, I'm a mama with two babies. Every penny counts. Daycare is expensive. Love my daycare people. It's expensive. So $60 on one piece that I feel like I can find for half that or less, I don't know. So this whole box, my whole Dia & Co. experience summed up. I like every piece. Some pieces I like a lot, a lot. Um, but I feel like as a whole, they're overpriced per item for my budget, maybe not other people. I know, like for example, the jeans 75 is actually a pretty average price for jeans. More than $75 is not unreasonable for some people. But for me and my life currently, I'm a teacher and my husband's a cop. We have two little baby boys. I, I can't necessarily afford to spend $75 on jeans and $60 on a kimono and $50 on a dress. So if you do, when you are doing Dia & Co, buy everything in your box. Um, your $20 styling fee gets subtracted from that and you get a discount. I wanna say it's 25. Let me check my paper real quick. I've got my little price point paper here. Um, yes, if you get everything in your box, you get 25% off the total, which for me, since I didn't pay my styling fee, Influencer did, I don't get that deducted. All of my items together would be 
almost $187, which to me is like, that's crazy. I know for other people, that's no big deal. That's fine. Just for me and my lifestyle, my budget, it's too much. Now, like I said, all the pieces are nice. They are pieces that if I found them somewhere else for cheaper, I would totally buy it for myself, even if the fit was a little off, like I said. The fit to me is what throws off the price. Look, these jeans, I don't know if it's showing up on camera. I just feel like I got such a baggy butt right now. I don't know. I just feel like I got a lot of baggage back there. But anyway, like the jeans, I would excuse the imperfect fit from like Old Navy or like pennies. You know, you're not going to find a good fit, but you're going to get a better price. Same with the dress, same with the blouses. Like, you're not going to get a perfect fit at a department store but you're gonna get a better price most likely. So take that as you will with my experience. I hold nothing against my stylist. Like I said previously, I wish I hadn't picked three items out and I let her pick all five of them. Um, that might have been worked out a little bit different because her two pieces were actually the cheapest of them, whereas the three pieces I picked, I should have paid more attention to the price. I was just like, ooh, I like that, that's pretty, and I put it in my box. And they're the three most expensive items in the box. And the price is the biggest thing that's telling me not to buy them right now. So there's that. Um, I was mistaken on how soon you have to return them. You have five days to make decisions. So these things, at this point, I'm not sure that I'm gonna keep any of them, honestly. And it's no knock on my stylist, and it's no knock on Dia. The prices are out of my budget. Um, and I kind of knew that going in, that a subscription styling box thing is probably not for me at this point in my life. It's a nice little happy treat, um, but not right now, for me. So no knock on Dia, no knock on my stylist. This is just me and my life. This is not for me. The price is just too much. Um, if I can get it to work, because I'm still fairly new to YouTube and everything, I'm gonna show you guys the styling experience online on my phone. Like I videoed, I screen recorded. Um, my process of telling them that to me was a little iffy just because um, one of the questions for example was where do you like to shop and some of the options I had never shopped at before not because that's not my preference it's not in my area or not in my budget just not available to me so that doesn't mean that wouldn't be my style it just means I don't get to wear that, so I don't know. Like, um, Lord & Taylor was one of them. There's no Lord & Taylor anywhere near me. And I know they're pretty expensive because of the brands they carry. I mean, I've seen them on Project Runway, if nothing else. So that's something I don't really know what their style is, so I can't say whether or not it's my style because I'm not familiar with them. Nordstrom, there's not a Nordstrom anywhere around here that I get to shop at, and I'm not gonna go on their website and peruse. That's just, I don't have time for that. So I'm not saying Nordstrom is not my style. I just, I'm not familiar with them. So that part was a little ticky to me. I was able to pick stores that I have shopped at and I know of, but I feel like I could have had like a gap in my styling profile because I don't have experience with some of those stores and brands they mentioned in it. Um, sizing for me was a shot in the dark, not because of them, just because of me. I'm still adjusting to my new post-mom body. Jimmy is probably gonna be six, no, he is, excuse me. Jimmy is already six months old, almost seven months old now. So I'm seven months postpartum. Things don't fit the same on me. Things have moved around. I'm actually down lower in weight than I was before I got pregnant. So there's that, but still things are fitting differently because of how things have moved around on me. For example, like my pants. I used to be a 16. Now I'm an 18. Even though I weigh less now than I did before Jimmy, things have shifted around. I've got a big mushy mom belly. So there's that. Um, my tops fit kind of funny because I'm still breastfeeding. My boobs go up in size, they go down in size. They float around. Bras are crazy right now. So there's that. So my sizing was kind of iffy and they just let you pick. Like, are you a 16? Are you an 18? What's your bra size? So for me, I can't knock them for that. That's me. I don't know my body right now, but I wish maybe there was a little bit more help with the sizing. Um, I'm trying to think of what else can I say about Dia and Co. They were so nice on in on Instagram when, like, I posted I was excited about being got. I was in the influencer campaign. 
they responded saying they're excited for me and if I needed any problems to contact them. Um, when I did have a problem, my shipping was delayed, which they emailed me and said, hey, your shipping's delayed. They didn't say why or when it would ship, so I reached out to them on Instagram and they got back to me right away. They looked into it. They told me what was going on. Like I said, they needed the inventory for one of these items. So I kind of hate that they went through that extra work for me and they're going to get it back, but like if, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to keep any of these items, like I said. They're beautiful items, and if I had the budget, probably, but not right now. Um, they're a nice, very helpful company. In the future, I may try them again and let the styles style for me, maybe, like, after some Christmas money comes in, maybe around a birthday time, something like that, where I can spoil myself. It's just, it's not right now. So... That is my opinion of Dia and Co. all wrapped up. If there's any pertinent information I can think of to give you guys, I'll put it in the description box for this video on YouTube. That's my goal is to get this on YouTube. If you've seen my channel, I have two videos on there. So not much experience. We'll try that. I'm rambling. Um, thank you guys for checking this out. Give Dia and Co. a chance if you're interested. I have nothing negative to say about the company as a whole. I like their outlook. They're sizing larger women, average women, normal women. I feel like I am not plus size. I am just a regular woman in my size 18 mom jeans. So I appreciate the company. I appreciate their outlook on everything and what they're doing for women. Um, the prices are my hang up, which may be just fine for other people, not my budget. So thank you guys for watching this.